helpful. Okay. I have a theory on who this is, and I believe that that person may be standing by. If they're not standing by, uh, if there's a way for you to to make make that possible, or if somebody else who, who's with you can do that, uh, that'd be great. Well, this person uh, would not come on the air, but I'm sending I, I you I totally one. understand oh, no. that. Sort of. Okay. I've interrupted my humanitarian work here, and uh, I don't think there'd be anything happening. So don't worry too much. Well, I appreciate that, and I know that I if you if you get grumpy, then some people will be very upset. Ah, I hate to be grumpy. It's Christmas time, you know that. <laughs> I mean, okay, um, I don't want I'm to be grumpy. Uh, so, so, so this is uh, just for the people that are on this. Uh, this is a private phone number. It is not to go out onto the air. Yeah, and please. The person is 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 not to be called under any circumstances. Uh, other than by our uh, very illustrious guest, who is 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 uh, on a secret job site out out in the the, the larger world. Uh, yeah, please call. Please make that connection. And uh, if let it's me make it clear to you, for all your viewers, you don't know this, David. The gold you're talking about is a small amount of gold. It's not a lot of gold when you consider the amounts of gold we're dealing with. We deal with vast amounts far in excess of what you think you know about. The gold is so wide and so vast that the real problem is how to keep it all down and keep it quiet. It doesn't matter. The lone foul days of all of that gunboat diplomacy is long gone, and the low-level fellows just try to think that they're somehow dying things but nothing to do with it. And if any of these little lads who hang on with their public service jobs want to create a little problem, well, let's create a big fucking problem. Oh, well, sorry for the language. I've been out here in the field too long. But we know where they all live, too. We know where all their families are. We know where everybody is. That's, that's very important. I think it bears repeating. So, uh, caller, because your voice is a little faint, uh, David... Well, I'm a long way away, Leslie. If you only knew how far away I was. I'm Let sorry, me tell you that I'm a long, I'm so far away you couldn't believe. Right. <laughs> but, but, but uh, David, could you repeat that, that for the public? I'll, I'm going to let you repeat that, that they know where the, these people are. They know their homes, their, their houses, their families. Uh, they, yeah, they know I all mean, the details. I can hear the caller very well. I hope that the audience can too. If not, we can probably post-produce this after the live show and bring the levels up so everybody will be able to hear this. Um, it is true that I have spoken to people all across the spectrum at the very highest levels of every part of this cover-up. Uh, what this caller has notified us about is that there is much more gold even than what I was referring to on the show just now. The problem is how to keep it from really damaging human life on this planet, because if people know this, it could really cause a lot of pain for a while. Uh, I do think there needs to be a change. I do think this lawsuit needs to be made public. But I'm not sure that, you know, in, I'm not an expert. I'm not an economist. I just wanted to write about a story. I'm not the president. I'm not running the country. All I'm doing is, <laughs> is writing about this, and, you know, I'm... What he okay. said was let me that let, let me say that that caller and and this is for the anonymous caller here to to address. But isn't it true that a lot of the gold is being taken off world as we anyway? Well, it gets put everywhere, you know, it's all over the place. It's not in one spot. Okay. Uh, you wouldn't want to put all your eggs in one basket now, would you? Okay, we're, we're uh, sorry, but we, we actually have to go to break. We don't have a choice on this. Uh, we will be right back with this developing story with uh, David Wilcock, uh, our anonymous caller, and Maxine Taylor, who's standing by. Thank you very much. The story at the moment with regard to David Wilcock, who has received death threats for an article that he wrote on divinecosmos.com, and I urge everyone to go to that website. We are in the process uh, my webmaster, Tommy Hansen, is is in Norway, and it's the middle of the night there, but he has uh, come online, and he is working on trying to get a PDF so that this is downloadable. We have gotten word from our listeners that they want to be able to download the, the article and, and distribute it around the net. 
uh, and possibly other places. So, so we are working on that, on that now. Uh, we've got Maxine Taylor, who is an author um, and astrologer on the line, and she is standing by. She was my original guest, and she's being very gracious. Maxine, you want to say hello to everyone? Oh, absolutely. David, it's so wonderful to hear your voice again. I'm thrilled for you. And, darling, I've, I've already looked at your chart. You are safe. I don't have, like, uh, Pluto crossing my midheaven or anything like that? <laughs> no, darling, nothing like that. Nothing like that. You've got some awesome aspects. And if you like, you can call me when we're off the air, and I'll tell you what I see, because your chart is private, and I don't want to share it publicly without permission, but I'll share with you what I'm seeing. Um, so please keep talking. Yeah, I okay. mean, this, this, this eclipse that we had over the weekend was so intense for me. For personal reasons that are unrelated to writing this article, I guess mildly related, but I have been through so much emotional cleansing, and I had that the night of the eclipse, I was up all night in bed. I was cold. I was almost, I was so cold, I was like shivering in bed just because of the emotional intensity of the stuff that I've been moving through. And so to hear all this and, and be threatened in the midst of, uh, what actually has been very powerful and positive healing effects for me, it, it was kind of, it caught me off guard. Uh, I usually, I, I think I'm pretty brave to be doing what I'm doing, and uh, I don't want to, I don't want to be intimidated. But I just lost it on your show, so. Well, I, I, that's okay, and uh, you know, this kind of honest, uh, you know, sort of depiction of of where we're at is is crucial for people to to start to be honest with each other uh, and understand that the people that do the kinds of jobs we do uh, do put ourselves on the line, uh, and we do need to bond together to protect each other. And white light uh, put surround each other with white light and protection. Uh, we've got Anonymous on the line standing by. Anonymous, are you there? I am still here. Okay, Anonymous, we, we are really grateful to have you with us. Uh, we would like to talk about this developing story. I do want to ask you a question because it's my understanding that in some ways these kind of death threats, uh, which I have also received in the past, uh, are, are a type of psychological um, operation more than anything else. Do you think this is a psyop? I think they're just troublemakers. You think they're troublemakers? We don't like it. It ruins the industry reputation. It ruins the <laughs> I was gonna, you know, pretty. That's a pretty tall order to ruin the reputation of the Illuminati. But, but I guess they're gonna work on it. <laughs> uh, can Can you elaborate, Colin? Yeah, look, we've got a simple rule. If you fellows all just tell the truth, don't embellish. Tell the truth and don't compromise anyone's privacy, their addresses, their families. You're as safe as if you're near a bank. Both full of gold. So David, David hasn't yeah, look, addresses or any of that stuff. No, I mean part two. What's going to be released tonight? Which I've already had the guys reviewing the document and making sure that they have no objections. They actually wrote me. I mean, I have an email here, and I'm going to read it. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, yeah, he said. Dear David, my only suggestions are to remove the names of blank, blank, and remove the part where you mention names of people who have been talking to blank. These well, people I have to that tonight. Yes, this is what he's saying. He says, these people, the have to live with the, these people have to live with the very people who are the ones we are fighting, and I think it is a breach of confidence to leak their names. More than that, a number which now includes name, name, and name, are now feeding us information from directly inside the highest levels of the cabal. We should not expose them as it would negate their usefulness to us. Like us, they want change, but they have to work with those whom we are fighting. The only other Let thing me, I request... David, is, David, my yeah. boy, that's all fine. I'm not a good numbers man with all of this sort of thing. But let me tell you this. I know that all your readers, all your listeners can know. There's many more tens of millions of tons of fine precious metals around the place than you could ever imagine. What you're talking about is a sand bucket full of nonsense. It doesn't matter. It's little. It's unimportant. And all those little fiddles that are so far down the ladder, they're all buzzing around like ants trying to fight the bread crumbs that fall off the table. 
Okay, so what the caller is saying, uh, if I understand caller, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, you're basically saying that the threats are coming from a lower level. Isn't that right? There were a bunch of fools as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so it, it, it is important to know that we're, we're talking about different levels. Uh, and by the way, a PDF has now uh, been created of your of your your article uh, by Tommy Hansen. It, oh, it is going to be mounted on our forum where people can go to camelotforum.com. Uh, I, I assume that, uh, that Tommy, who is listening, will start a thread uh, for this radio show and for this situation uh, where people can post and uh, all kinds of things can be said and whatever. Um, but we, we will allow David to, to monitor that thread as well and, uh, and, and put the PDF there so that people can have access to downloading it as they need to. Uh, but basically, to get back to the caller, uh, so caller, what, what you're saying is that the gold is plentiful, that the people who, who are actually making threats regarding certain gold are, are kind of off base, in a sense. Pretty much so. These uh, little offshoots and these little cells that grow independently, they're all, uh, they're all uh, concerning at times. If they become too noticeable for us, we'll go and have a talk to them. So they should be mindful about who they threaten. You heard about the little fish that eats the little fish and then the shark comes along and eats the bigger fish. Well, they might be a tasty little meal for us. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, this kind of... And I'm not in your public on. relations department. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm not in your public relations department. I don't have a talk softly or gently or or say the right sort of things. I mean, I'm, I'm accepting the call because of a mutual friend. Certainly. Well, well we, and we want to thank you for that. Uh, I, I think that the callers uh, and, the, uh, well, I think that the listeners, whoever is out there who is monitoring this radio show, will be well aware that, that we've kind of brought in the big guns, so to speak, on our side. Um, there are some people out there, wouldn't you say, caller, who, who consider David Wilcock to be... Uh, Family, wouldn't, wouldn't you put it that way? Well, let me say this, as far as I'm advised. If anyone bothers this lad or a few of the others that are around trying to tell the messages that they're telling, we'll be heartily pissed off, and it won't be one or two that'll have a headache. I can assure you countries will have headaches. And the people out there who are listening will know what I'm talking about. We don't deal in ones and twos. Okay, we deal so, in whole so societies. Okay. Well, uh, well, you, you know, I don't, I don't want to encourage too much of this kind of talk, but I, but I do want. Ma'am, I'm sure sorry. You're talking, you're talking about the things at the sharp end of the business. There's none of this funny, waffy, softy stuff that you guys all go on about. <laughs> We're very serious. Nobody is to be interfered with unless to do their own things. As long as they don't break the rules, which are simple, tell the truth and don't compromise any of the other little people's privacy. Simple as that. Not too hard to follow, eh? So, David, uh, you know, you should rest assured uh, where you are. And I, I just want to say from, uh, you know, I am in your in your neighborhood. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm basically here if you need me in any way, shape, or form, as you know. And uh, I, I can be there very, very shortly if well. necessary. And you, you are so also welcome in my home at any time. Yeah, you I and mean, your loved ones are welcome in my home. Thank you. And, and uh, David, and I and David my boy, I'm sorry to interrupt, ma'am, but uh, I'll be up having some snow skiing and meeting some of those lovely friends of mine in the Asia. We're going to have a lovely get-together in about a week. So I'll be talking about you to make sure I know you're all right. And the leaders of these countries will also be real interested to know that you're all right and you're freely publishing whatever you want, so long as it's the truth. We'll be very upset if we don't see all your publications. I want you to send everything out. Everything you can think of, my boy. Put it all out there. A lot. Okay. Uh, honestly, Carrie, uh, I, I was going to flee. Um, I was going don't to get in my car. Go and have a, go and have a, a lovely dinner. I, I'll bet you you're one of these fellows that likes dining in around Los Angeles, somewhere around the beach. Go and do that. Okay. You go and do that. And if you've got any doubts, put 20 or 30 little drives, those 